calculating empirical and molecular formulas is pretty straightforward. We know both types of formulas require quantities in the subscripts of the formulas. That means those numbers could represent moles or individual atoms. Well, if we've got a molecular formula, the empirical formula is easy enough to calculate. You just divide all the numbers until you have the lowest whole number ratio. But sometimes going the other direction is a, a little more complicated. First, you've got to calculate the empirical formula from data that you're given. Now, sometimes you're given data directly in moles, and you can just plug in your subscripts. Other times you're given data in grams, and you need to first convert to moles, and then plug in your subscripts. And sometimes you're given data in terms of the mass percents of a given compound. Well, mass percents, it's pretty easy. As you can see here, we got ourselves a sample of caffeine. There's our percentage of carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and hydrogen by mass. Well here, from percents, we can actually convert those numbers directly into grams. All we need to do is imagine we have a 100 gram sample of our substance. If you have a 100 gram sample, and you know 49.5% of that sample is carbon, then you have 49.5 grams of carbon. That can be converted to moles. Then we can take those moles and treat them as ratios of all of our elements here. You can see we've got carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen in their decimal form, fractional form, mole ratios. Now these mole ratios could be dropped right in as subscripts in our chemical formula. That's actually how I like to represent them. Because here we can see our destination. But these are fractions, and fractions do not work in chemical formulas. That's why we need to choose from these the lowest whole number ratio. In this case, it's going to be oxygens 1.03. Divide each subscript by that lowest number, and we're going to get ourselves some whole numbers. That's our empirical formula. Now, note here that sometimes if you divide by that smallest number, you might get a number that is not a whole number. For example, what if we got 5.5 for hydrogen? In that case, we need to take all the values that we have after that first division, and we multiply them by 2 in order to get whole number ratios. Usually and ideally, you will either be given whole number ratios right from the start, or you'll have to multiply by 2 in order to get whole number ratios. Regardless, we've got our empirical formula. Now with that, how do we get the molecular? Well, if the question wants you to calculate the molecular formula, figure it out, it needs to provide a little extra information. It will give you the molar mass of whatever it is you're trying to find, and that is experimentally found data. In this case, the molar mass of caffeine is 194.2 grams per mole. Now, if you calculate the mass of our empirical formula, you multiply 12.01 times 4, 1.008 times 5, 14.01 times 2, plus 16. You add all those together and find the sum total of 97.1 grams per mole. You know that's going to be some ratio or some factor of your molar mass. So you're going to take that molar mass divided by the empirical mass you just calculated, and you'll get yourself a whole number factor. So all you need to do is multiply the empirical's subscripts by that number, and you've got yourself the molecular formula.